Today, I'm going to show you how to make use of synthetic division to get the quotient of polynomials. Actually, synthetic division is um, a technique or a quick method of dividing a polynomial with an x minus a, a number or an x plus a number. So I have here an example, a perfect example of a polynomial divided with an x minus a number. It could be that this divisor here is an x plus a number. So you could be also make use of synthetic division for that instance. With this example, the first thing that we have to do is to make a symbol. And the symbol is a horizontal, a vertical line rather, adjacent with a horizontal line. This is the place where you're going to place the value of your x. So where are you going to get for the value of your x? You're going to get the value of your x from your divisor here. So how are we going to get the value of our, of our x? Simply, you have to think of a number that when you try to plug in to your x, you would get a zero on your equation. So let's think of a number that should be plugged in on your x to be able for you to get a zero on this equation. So that number would be a positive 3, right? So positive 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So therefore, your x here should be a positive 3. Okay. To be able for you to have uh, an idea or a, 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 a shortcut, you just get the opposite value of your constant. So if you have here a negative 3, therefore your x would be a positive 3. So it's the same thing. Okay? Next, you have to observe for the arrangement of your dividend or the polynomial polynomial on your numerator. So, as you can see, your x's here are in the decreasing arrangement. So, you look for the exponent. So, you start with exponent of 3, followed with an x with exponent of 2, then an, ex an x with an exponent of 1, and then a constant. So, 3, 2, one and a constant. Therefore, this is properly arranged in a decreasing order of your terms. So if that is the case, therefore, you could be able to drop down your coefficients. So I'll just show you the illustration. So this will be the coefficient for your x cube since that is the highest exponent then this will be your the air the place for your coefficient for your x squared and then this is the place for your x to so the first power or simply equal to x and then you have here your constant So, on your x, x cube, what is your coefficient? The coefficient is the number adjacent to the third. So, the, the number coefficient, uh, the number adjacent to your x cube is 2. So, you just have to write 2. Then, what is your coefficient for your x squared? Take a look at your x squared, and then you have there a negative one. There is an imaginary one here. And then, for your x, what is your coefficient? 
you have there a 5. So you write down 5. And then lastly is your constant. Your constant is negative 60. So that will be the pattern. Okay? So what is the next thing to do? So draw, draw a line here, a horizontal line. And then simply you drop down your 2. Okay? Always drop down the 2 here. The next is, you multiply 2. You always multiply whatever the value here. You multiply it with 3. Again, whatever the value here, you have to multiply it by 3. Okay? So, 2 times 3 would be 6. So, where are you going to place your 6? You're going to place it here. Then whatever the value here should be added. Okay? Add, multiply. So negative 1 plus 6 is positive 5. Okay, there you go again. You have a number here. As I've said earlier, whatever your value here should be multiplied with 3. So 5 times 3 should be 15. So where are you going to place your 15? Under the 5 here. And then, we have to add it up. So that will be positive 20. So positive 20, again, multiplied to 3, that will be positive 60. You're going to place it under negative 60. And then, you add it up. Negative 60 plus 60 is equal to 0. So, what are you going to do next? You're going to place your variables now. You take a look again on your original polynomial on your numerator. Since this is x cubed, this is the highest exponent, then you just decrement it by 1. Okay? x cubed, it will become, highest exponent here will become x squared. Again, you have to decrement it by 1. So x squared, and then followed by, of course, x, and then this will be your constant. x squared, x constant. Okay. How about the signs? So since, obviously, there are no negative signs, all of these will become positive. So, so how about this one? This is zero. So this has no value. So what would be your quotient? The quotient for 2x cubed minus x squared plus 5x minus 60 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 2 x squared plus 5x plus 20. So there you go. That is the answer or the quotient using synthetic division.